Daming ganap ngayon sa Wild Rift ha. What's up guys, Shibu with the one for an eye and in this video, ibabreakdown natin at pag-uusapan yung recently released na preview ng patch 2.1 for League of Legends Wild Rift. So again, take note guys, this is a preview and not really the official patch. Kung naghahanap kayo ng official patch, merong darating as of recording bukas, no? And I think that is patch 2.1a. Ibig sabihin, may mga darating pang ibang patches under this 2.1 at sinabi rin nga yan ng Riot sa preview na to that there will be 2.1a, 2.1b, and also c. Also, take note na lahat ng babanggitin sa preview na to ay hindi lahat ng features na lalabas. Meron pa silang hindi nababanggit, no? So, be sure na abangan ninyo yung mga updates pang darating for Wild Rift. And yeah, interesting lang, no? Na approach ng Riot ngayon, nagbibigay na sila ng preview for the patch, no? Bago pa man dumating yung patch itself. Nakaka-hype, diba? <laughs> so, una-muna ay updates na darating ngayong February 2021. Una dyan, at isa siguro sa mga pinakamalaking balita ay ang pagdating ng spectator mode. Interestingly, kahapon, no? May mga features and assets na lumabas na for the spectator mode. Nakita ko nga yun na shinare nila Rebenga and I also saw it for myself. So, agabi, pwede mong silipin at spectate yung game ng kaibigan mo, no? But the interesting part here is walang HUD, walang control for that spectator mode. And talagang full spectate lang siya. And you cannot even see past the fog of war ng kalaban, no? Not to mention, <laughs> ano daw, hindi daw makalabas doon sa spectator mode. Also, nakita ko rin doon sa custom lobby na meron na rin spectator slot, no? Tatlo. Pero hindi siya masalihan, hindi siya mapasukan. Uh, may best guess na nangyari kahapon is parang nagkaroon lang ng early activations or maybe may tinetas lang yung Riot. We will never know the truth about it. Pero one thing is for sure, no? Kung may mga ganong assets na already in the game, then surely darating na yung spectator mode. At yun na nga rin naman yung in-announce para sa preview na to. Looking on that screenshot or picture na pinakita sa preview ng patch 2.1, I think we'll be seeing the very standard spectator mode na i-expect mo talaga for Wild Reef. That is a spectator mode very similar para din sa spectator mode ng League of Legends PC. Meron ang HUD kung saan makikita mo yung mga champion icons sa gilid, no? Included doon yung kanyang summoner spells. Pero hindi ko yata nakikita kung nasaan dito yung uh, ultimate. Parang walang ultimate indicator. Sa gitna naman, makikita mo syempre yung kanilang mga items, yung kanilang gold, in comparative. Tapos, meron ding duration bar. And you can also speed up your spectate. I think this is the replay feature. I'm curious pa kung ano meron spectator mode. But the best part here is that bukas, meron silang update na ilalabas about it. Yun yung sabi nila sa preview. Sunod naman is of the announcement of the Lunar Beast event. Now, this is one of the updates na Actually, inaabangan ko kasi hindi ko to in-expect eh. Spectator mode, parang given na yan para sa kahit anong MOBA, no? Now, the Lunar Beast event is, I think, the celebration or in-game event coinciding with the Chinese New Year celebration. Ano nangyayari madalas February, March. So, the thing here is that may mga bagong skins na darating. And actually, we saw the splash art of those skins na Lunar Beast. Pero for LOL PC itong mga splash arts na to, no? Uh, may bilanggit din naman na may mga skins daw na lalabas or skin para sa Wild Rift. Na baka exclusive nga rin sa Wild Rift. And that is Miss Fortune, no? Lunar Beast. Ngayon, kasama dito sa mga Lunar Beast skin would be of Annie, Darius, Jarvan 4, Fiora, and kahit wala siya sa Wild Rift, no, babanggitin ko na lang rin. There's also a Lunar Beast Viego. Also, for February, medyo expected, lalo pa February, ang buwan ng mga puso, February 14, Valentine's, ilalabas din ang unang couple champions for League of Legends sa Wild Rift that would be of Saya and Rakan. Now, sa mga hindi nakakaalam, napaka-unique ni Saya and Rakan at bukang bibig talaga siya ng mga League of Legends players. But the best part about them is sila yung mga kauna-unahang champions na merong couple mechanic, no? Kung baga kapag pinagpares mo sila or pinagduo mo sila, medyo enhanced ng konti. Hindi naman siguro super OP yung kanilang mga skills, again, when they are together. And mapapansin nyo sa itsura ng couple champions na to, no? They're kind of a human-animal hybrid and that is because in the League of Legends Legends lore, they are of the Bastayan race. And one time, pag-uusapan natin yan. Now, the best part about this patch 2.1 preview is that kahit kakarating lang natin sa February, binigyan na rin tayo ng info kung ano pa yung pwede natin i-expect sa buwan ng March. Now, this March, darating ang isa sa mga pinaka-high mechanics na champion for League of Legends and that would be of Katarina. Katarina is a very deadly champion mula sa Great Nation ng Noxus, designed for high APM players. APM meaning actions per minute na players. High mechanics talaga ang dinadala nito ni 
Katarina and there's a very big striking difference between Katarina of League of Legends PC and Wild Rift. Pwede kang gumalaw sa ultimate ni Katarina sa Wild Rift. Bukod kay Katarina, meron pang mga bagong champions na darating. I think coinciding with the Path of Ascension event. So itong Path of Ascension event, this is an event that takes place in Mount Targon. No? So sa mga di nakakaalam, yung Mount Targon yung isa sa mga importanting focal point ng story for League of Legends. And itong mga champion releases na to, yeah, they're very much related to Mount Targon. At sila ay si Leona of the Solari, Diana of the Lunari, and Pantheon of Sparta. The joke lang. <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Pero sa ngayon, chill na lang muna tayo sa kanila dahil darating pa naman sila next month. Another awesome updates na darating sa March ay ang mga skins, no? Una dito ay ang Omega Skin Line. Ngayon, nakita nyo na dun sa preview na kasama si Timo, pero actually kasama pa dyan si Tristana at Fizz. Now, here's an interesting pack about the Omega Squad Skin Lines. Dalawa pa sa mga champions na kasama dun ay si Vagar at si Twitch. Nawala sa Wild Drip. So kung i-release nila yung Omega Squad skin line, ano ba? May chance ba na makuha agad natin si Vagar at si Twitch? Or is this some sort of confirmation that we can expect them? And another skin line na gustong-gusto ko ngayon pasi sa inyo are of the Project Skin Line. Ngayon, ang Project Skin Line ay isang sobrang gandang skin line na talagang nung nirelease sa League of Legends, inabangan at nakapagpa-hype sa mga tao, no? Ang tema nitong Project Skin Line are your favorite League of Legends champions pero meron sila mga cybernetic enhancements, no? Tapos parang ang kwento niya is there is a conflict in this futuristic city between two factions of which one of the factions gusto gumante doon sa naglagay ng cybernetic enhancement sa kanila. Whereas the other ones naman are those of the servants who are against the vengeful faction. Ngayon, sobrang ganda nitong project skin lines. To the point na ito yung skin line na nagpataas ng interest ng mga League of Legends fans on the batch style releases of skins for League of Legends. And now we have them for Wild Rift and I have a lot of expectations kung ano yung magiging itsura nila sa ating mobile game. Anyway, ayun, no, nakakatuwa lang na binigyan tayo ng preview and it gives us a lot lot of hype. And I'm of course very happy na meron na tayong spectator mode because it's a content creation tool eh. And malaking tulong yun para sa ating mga Wild Drift content creators in creating better content and not to mention it will boost Wild Drift competitive dahil i-enhance nito yung viewing experience ng mga fans. Anyway guys, that's it for our patch breakdown. Like if you like the video, subscribe to support the channel and let me know in the comment sections anong palagay nyo, anong masasabi nyo dito sa patch 2.1 preview. May patch pang darating bukas at kita kits ulit tayo sa breakdown nun. I am Shibu with the one for and I always saying na lahat kayong Wild Drift players, mabuhay!